This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. Yesterday, Microsoft announced that with the Azure OpenAI service, businesses can apply for access to the most advanced AI models, including GPT 3.5, Codex, and DALI 2. Okay, as well as customers will also be able to access Chat GPT. So, this is an interesting development which was announced by Microsoft yesterday. Right. So they have something called as Azure Open AI service. Okay. Through that service, they want to offer these large language models now. Okay. So the thing is that what they are saying is that these models are backed by their trusted enterprise grade capabilities and AI optimized infrastructure of Microsoft Azure. So now companies can create cutting edge applications. Okay. So here is a timeline of the different Microsoft AI breakthroughs. Okay. So in October 22, Microsoft announces DALI 2 in Azure OpenAI. Okay. Now you also have Bing Image Creator. In January, they are claiming that ChatGPT will be coming soon and Azure OpenAI service will be now generally available. Okay. Um, so here they talk about, um, you know, uh, why Azure is the best place to build AI workloads. Probably you can read over this. I'll put the link of this. Um, this doesn't seem uh, much that much interesting to me. Okay. Uh, what is interesting is this responsible approach to AI. Okay. So what they are claiming is that uh, with newer technologies like generative uh, models, responsible AI is important. Okay. And it must be done responsibly. Right. In the sense, uh, any innovation in AI must be done responsibly. So they take an iterative approach to large models. They are working closely with their partner OpenAI because they have an investment in OpenAI. They want to carefully assess use cases, right? Learn and address potential risks. So when you apply for access, you have to describe the intended use case for publication, right? And then based on the analysis of the use case, a potential risk, then they'll be given access to the service. Okay, then they also have content filters to catch abusive, hateful and offensive content. Okay, so that is the idea over here. If there is a confirmed policy violation, the developer should take immediate action to prevent further abuse. Okay, so here are some links to get started with uh, Azure OpenAI service, right? So this is the web page of Azure OpenAI service. So here you can try the OpenAI service for free. You can create a pay as you go account. And here you have an overview of the various, uh, you know, services available over here, right? Large pre-trained AI models uh, built in responsible AI. Okay, so is there a list of models or something? I'm just trying to see it. No, I don't see that. Okay, maybe if you go to features, let's see. No, okay. Maybe you need to sign up and then check out for what models are available and uh, what you can do with this particular open AI service. Okay. Here they have put a list of what are the criteria, responsible use of the service, use of models as they are intended to be used capacity. Okay. Right. At the same time, I also came up this interesting tweet from OpenAI where they say that we learned a lot from chat GPT research preview and have been making important updates based on user feedback. Chat GPT will be coming to our API, the, uh, the OpenAI API, as well as to Microsoft Azure OpenAI service soon. And here you can sign for the updates. So here is a wait list. So here, you, if you are interested in chat um, GPT API, so you can sign over here. I'll be putting this link as well. You can check that out, right? So it's interesting times. Uh, if and when chat GPT comes in API form, I, I see a lot of uh, use cases being implemented by different companies. Uh, a lot of interesting use cases um, across the enterprise. They would be, uh, you know, uh, they can add chat GPT as a digital assistant. So a lot of use cases are going to come up. I hope this short video on chat GPT API and the Azure Open API was useful to you. If you like the channel, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.